Hey guys, Dan here today, and we have a snippet of my full conversation with Damon Victor Allen, who of course plays Frank Woods in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, a game that I've covered for many months now. And this was his first ever interview on YouTube about this game and going into all the nitty gritty about it. We talk about the onion line, of course, we talk about him taking on this iconic role and plenty more. So this is just a snippet of clips uh, from this full conversation, which you can find on my channel, guys. It's a really interesting chat with him. But before we get into that, I'm really proud to announce a new sponsor of the show, Long Term Deal, Skillshare, an incredible platform, an online learning community of creatives where millions get together to take that next step in their creative journey, me being one of them. I mean, I'm already on that creative journey, but you can always elevate your production values and your editing and everything. And that's exactly what I've been doing with MKBHD, AKA Marcus Brownlee's uh, series over there on Skillshare, which is only found there. Script, shoot and edit with MKBHD. I highly recommend it, guys. It goes into everything from the editing side, the YouTube side, growing your channel. This is a dream if you're starting a youtube channel i know a lot of you guys are building that channel this is the perfect place to start and thanks to skillshare the first a thousand people to use the link in the description will receive a free membership trial of skillshare premium and if you want to just go above and beyond guys you can get the yearly subscription for only ten dollars a month it's that easy and you're going to get unlimited resources for editing um, growing a youtube channel and if you know just art in general or web design i mean the possibilities are endless here for you guys to build your whatever you're doing creatively this is the place to be skillshare use the link in my description guys this is a long-term partnership between me and skillshare i'm really proud of it and i hope that you support the channel go over there and even give it a crack see what you think but guys thanks as always now let's get into the video how did you come up with the voice was that the first like was that the first voice you ever did in the audition that's yes that that's uh that speaking that speaking about luck of the draw that's the voice that i came up with uh isn't that amazing when i got, when I got the sides basically took that and of course i knew who you know arlie Ar, arlie ermy was you know from full metal jacket i'm like god this dude's just a tough raw badass but it said a younger version of him and then I looked up some Jason Beggy stuff. And I don't know if you're familiar with him, but he was on that show, Californication. And now he does all those shows, like all the Chicago shows. There's like a Chicago Fire yeah. or Chicago. He does all those. So, you know, so I listened to his voice and I tried to do my version of that. And by luck of the draw, and I think it was luck of the draw, I sounded close to what, you know, James was doing. Mm. And... Of course, I've taken. I, of course, I, of course, you know, I, I've got, I've got, I've gotten. Of course, I've gotten heat for being like, oh man, you, you know, you copied this guy. Well, you know, if if it sounds like that, I guess it sounds like that. It wasn't, it wasn't intentional. But even when we were in the, even when we, we were going through the the uh, the VO stuff, mm. and, uh, which is when it, you know during pandemic and we were doing all VO at this point, Amanda Wyatt was directing and. Uh, <clears throat> And I'd be on a Zoom call like this with seven, there'd be seven people on there. Wow. So, you know, basically, uh, they liked, they liked the voice that I was doing and it was, yeah. it wouldn't let me, I wasn't allowed to, I wasn't allowed to go and research this. I did look up scenes and, you know, one of my, fa a couple of my favorite scenes, you know, uh, that James did like, when they do the Russian roulette scene. Yeah, I mean, that's my favorite. Yeah. Does it get better than that? That's just such a badass scene. Mm. And the other scene I really like, and I can't remember because I don't know, because I've never played it. Yeah. The only Call of Duty I ever played is the one where he's sitting at the bar. Yeah. That's the, dudes come in. That's the opening scene. Yeah. And he's what? That's the opening scene of the first game, I think. Yeah. Is it where he sta he stabs the guy in the hand, right? Yeah, he yeah, stabbed yeah. the guy through the hand and it, like it stabs, stabs into the bar and then they start just, they start yeah. just kicking ass. Yeah, I was yeah. just like, oh, dude. So, yeah. So I did tap in and I, I watched, I watched some scenes. Um, yeah. But we'll, we'll, go ahead. What's, what's that like? 
like taking on a role like that when you know it's been established before you got to put your own little spin on it is it daunting for you is it is it a challenge is it what how did you how did you um, find it uh cha- challenge challenging for me because it was my first it was the biggest thing it was the biggest thing i've ever done i'd ever done mm. <clears throat> biggest gig i've ever booked and i was like wow call of duty this is worldwide i'm like holy shit this is real <laughs> <clears throat> yeah oh so, um yeah it was daunting for that reason going through these things with you know with amanda you know we would talk about and i had to repeat some lines you know that james had already done and she would be like all right hang on and she would she would tell me what scene it was she put it on she put it on mute she'd listen to it and she'd go okay try the line and then she'd give me a little adjustment so i was like the first, the first, the first time I went into Formosa, which is the studio Formosa, Formosa Inter- Interactive, where we were recording, they put this little, it's like a beanie cap on you, with these two little mics. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have freedom. You have freedom to move around. I'm very physical, so I'm like, I got freedom to move around. Cool. I got my ginger beer set up over here. I've got my paper cow. You know, you know, what paper cow is it's kind of a it's, a, it's low quat and honey. Yeah. Your voice. I've got throat coat tea, bottles of water. It. You'd need it, I reckon, for that voice. You do, <laughs> especially, especially the way, especially the way I, I would yell. Yeah. So the first time I was in with Amanda Wyatt, she's like, "Yeah, you're free to free to move." So I took my shoes off. I took off my belt buckle, any kind of jewelry hat. Took off anything so there wouldn't be any noise. So I had my socks on the thing. So I'm acting like I'm carrying my guns. I'm running, I'm running, I'm jumping, I'm rolling, I'm getting on down on the ground and I'm coming up and I'm like, okay, that's fantastic. But Damon, you can't, you can't come up to the glass. I was going, all, <laughs> I was going, I was going all the way up to like the glass. Like once you get to the glass, dude, the sound starts backing off. So we love, we love, we love the enthusiasm, but pull it back, pull it, pull it back. Like, so I toned it down where I had like a five or seven foot radius of movement. Yeah. Um, Far out. Cool. So when yeah. did you realize that the uh, the onion line took off on the internet? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys had a lot of fun at my expense over that, right? No, I wouldn't say that. But... <laughs> oh, no, it's cool, dude. I, I would. I, I love the line personally. I'm oh, happy to. I'm happy. To, I'm happy to uh, provide some. I want to make people laugh, dude. I love making people oh, laugh. I'm glad, I, I find I'm it glad so funny. At my, at my expense. I didn't know about the onions thing until I didn't know how I found out about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. It was, I think it was on Twitter. Something's like uh, somebody somebody tweeted something on Twitter, and uh, I'm an onion. So I see these onion things start showing up, and then uh, it's just so ridiculous. Of how course, you know. Of course, the people make they're making fun of it. I'm like, you know, great, and I'm like, dude. Dude, did you, they're like, and people started, they're like, did you write that line? And I'm like, I don't think so. And I went back and looked at the script and no, I, I did not. I, I wasn't one. Of, I did improv a lot, but I did not improv that line. Yeah. And uh, I wish, I wish I could take, I wish I could take credit for it because <laughs> all the traction it got and all, and all, and all the heat you guys gave me for it. Oh, dude, I, I, don't, I didn't give you heat. Come on. Dude, it's all, it's all Man, art, any art, music, uh, you know, film, theater, video game, you whatever you put out in the world, art subjective, man. People, some people are gonna like it, some people are gonna hate it. And people that are mad that you know that I, I'm playing Frank Woods, dude. I can imagine, dude, if I had a character in a movie, like you know, uh, I don't know. Yeah, you can see it from the other side. Is that what you mean? Like, state, like, like imagine State of Grace. You know, st- the movie State of Grace. I don't know mm. if you ever saw it. Sean Penn, Ed Harris, John Turturro. Um, uh, John Turturro's in it. John C. Riley's in it. Robin Wright is in it. If they were to do that, like a sequel, and they replaced a few people, you know, I'd probably go bananas. One of my favorite bands. If they replaced the drummer for Zeppelin, I would freak. If they replaced the drummer Levon Helm, one of my other favorite drummers, if they replaced him, I'd lose my I'd lose my mind. 